spaces, how they're designed, how they're built, what they're built from, have a huge effect upon the people that occupy them. I think we all kind of absorb the places that we live in. You know, they really shape us how we are as people, these houses we have, or even your school or places that you spend a lot of time in. It's very much about how we live in space, how we occupy space, the effects that buildings and places can actually have on our emotional lives and the way we conduct ourselves. I really like that idea that you sort of become part of the building. You know it so intimately, like all the corners and all the things that you are sort of part of it. There's something interesting, engaging, theatrical and extraordinary about distorting our perception of reality and the world that surrounds us. So we're in the 18th century chapel at Yorkshire Sculpture Park which is a beautiful light and airy space, a very simple building. It's a very beautiful setting for any exhibition. What I wanted to do with this exhibition was really engage with the architecture of the building and start to think about how we reveal these spaces and what the works of art can do to actually make us look at the space in a different way. All of the works in the exhibition are really taking architecture as a starting point, but they're much more about a kind of human interaction with architecture. They're about a lived experience of architecture. So we have works like the Martin Creed and Susan Collis, which are actually literally embedded into the fabric of the building. Lots of these materials and structures slip into our subconscious. Sculpture has a wonderful responsibility to take the physical material and built world around us and then do something interesting with it. Alex Chinnick's new work called A Hole in a Bag of Nerves is a piece that was specially made for the chapel and as you come in it's the first thing that greets you and it looks like it could always have been there. The wall is made from 1,250 wax bricks. We melt a particular section of that. So you have these wax kind of cascades spilling out of the wall. It just takes a familiar thing and introduces elements of fantasy. Something that we're used to seeing suddenly becomes something organic, alive, captivating. There are video works which relate to how we live within buildings, what makes a space feel like home, or what doesn't make a space feel like home. We've got a really big collection of images of male architects with their models, which I find really fascinating, that relationship of power of like holding something in your hands that you're going to make or you've designed. Um, it's like quite often the women who get to inhabit the buildings more than the men. So I wanted to set up this power play of the person who making decisions about what those spaces would be like and the people who were going to inhabit them. The Cornelia Parker is an incredibly beautiful piece about some houses that fell off the cliff on the south coast of England. A very kind of traumatic, dramatic incident. But what Cornelia Parker has done is literally to collect the bricks that were taken from those houses, from the beach below, which had become weathered and worn over time. And she's actually resurrected or reconstructed those architectural details, those fragments of a building to make a completely new work and give this house a new life. Anya Galaccio's Can Love Remember the Question and the Answer is a set of old found mahogany doors. Into the glass panels within those doors, she's inserted 60 red gerbera flowers, which when they first go in, look absolutely beautiful, pristine, but then over the course of the exhibition, they will slowly rot and decay and become kind of visually very different. And as they rot, it makes us think about sort of life cycles. So we think about the life cycle of the flowers. We also think about our own life cycle and how we relate to the buildings that we live in and that we are in. Reconstruct is an exhibition curated largely from the Arts Council collection, which is an incredible collection of around 8,000 works of art. These works belong to everyone, it's the nation's art collection, and we're very lucky to be partners in the Arts Council Collection National Partners Scheme. By using architecture as a subject matter and the materials that create such buildings, but then distorting it 
in sometimes subtle but hopefully always spectacular ways, the work has the best possible chance of joining its surroundings.